Hi everyone, Carrie here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing great today. So today I'm back with another build that's going to be part of my save file and we're actually using the new Cozy Bistro kit for this build. Because this is for my save file, I didn't restrict myself with the pack usage, but I did actually use a lot of the items from this uh, kit. I don't think I used all of them, but I used most of them. And I wanted to build originally like a bistro. I wanted to find out what actually a bistro is because I don't understand the difference between a bistro and a restaurant. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to a bistro. So yeah, I wanted to find out a little bit more about it. But uh, for some reason, when I did all the exterior, I was thinking, yes, this is going to be nice. Uh, I'm going to be building a bistro because, of course, it's a bistro kit. You have to build a bistro. Like the first thing that you have to do is that. But for some reason, it ends up being a cafe. <laughs> so today we're building a cafe in Magnolia Promenade. That is actually the world that we got with Get to Work. And um, I actually really like how this build ends up looking in here. Uh, I think it would have looked even better if we had like multiple other lots in here, like other builds right next to it instead of just. Uh, a building all by itself <laughs> but I, I don't know I really like it I'm really really proud of this build and there's something about it as well that you will see if you download this build only is that the second floor of this build is actually an apartment it has two bedrooms and one bathroom I didn't decorate it so it only has like the bathroom and kitchen appliances and the floor plan and wallpaper and flooring of course and some windows and stuff but i didn't decorate it for a specific family or anything like that because i was thinking that um like of course we know that we cannot have like a residential lot in a community lot so technically your sims cannot live in this lot but if you decide to play in here you can uh, have your sims spend the night or just spend some days and time in here and maybe pretend that you can actually live in here so yeah if you decide to download this build if you decide to play with this uh build you can actually decorate that apartment in any way that you want and just enjoy it i don't know <laughs> i don't know if you can own a cafe maybe if you turn it into a restaurant but i don't know if you can own a cafe I've, i i actually didn't even consider that but uh, it doesn't matter. I think it, it makes sense that it's not like a two-story cafe. It would have been too much. But yeah, there's going to be an apartment upstairs. And you can do whatever you want with it if you decide not to turn it into an apartment. Uh, you can just maybe delete everything or just keep it um, just for the sake of having something on the second floor. But yeah, um, I actually have to be honest this is not my favorite kit my favorite kit out of the two that we got is a riviera retreat kit i think it's beautiful the items are way more um i don't know uh, my style i would say but this one is really really beautiful i've seen a lot of people building with this kit and not that many using the riviera retreat kit maybe that's why i was actually more interested in building something with the riviera retreat kit so you will see another build soon on the channel that uses mostly that kit and it's gonna be part of my save file as well but right now i wanted to share this one because i don't know i love this year i actually love the vibes that i went for and i took the inspiration for this build from pictures that i saw on pinterest of course because that's my main source of inspiration every time uh, i try to find items and stuff that i can use from pinterest just to for recreation or maybe just to guide myself when i'm building so yeah uh, i took a lot of inspo pictures from the for this build and i'm so so proud of the end result i i don't know i i think this style of building is something that i'm getting really into but i'm trying not to do that much uh that many of them because it's gonna be a little bit more repetitive for you to see that uh, like this style is really similar to the apartment series that we have going on on the channel one of the builds that i do have finished is actually one of the apartment renovations that we're gonna do to that uh, apartment building so yeah I, I have it finished i just haven't uploaded it yet <laughs> Uh, but stay tuned because it's gonna be like a really short video and you will see it on the channel pretty soon but right now as I mentioned I just wanted to join the trend of using these two new kits and just building something really nice and very different so we're starting with the bathroom because I don't know I, I just don't feel like bathrooms are that cool to show <laughs> in a speed build um, 
but I just wanted to get um, I like to finish it as soon as possible so that's why I decided to start decorating the bathroom and then we can just focus uh, completely on the rest of the interior and uh, even though I wasn't so hyped about the bathroom it ends up looking really nice I think <laughs> so yeah I just had a lot of fun I like the diagonal wall that I decided to use in here it's like the same diagonal wall that we have in the front of the build so it's kind of a recreation in the interior of how the exterior looks but um it was challenging to add the counter space as you can see here i end up making it work but it it, it was challenging <laughs> to make it fit properly in the way that i wanted and that everything like looked perfect and stuff but yeah i just wanted to have something a little bit different something that wasn't so typical to see and of course here i'm gonna be using the hutches that we got with the bistro kit they're beautiful they're really really beautiful i love all the swatches that we got with them and of course because there's a diagonal wall i struggled a little bit trying to find the perfect uh place for them but you will see that we managed to finish it and i wanted to go with this green accent color in the interior because originally i was trying to use like the pastel blues and pinks and all those like more vibrant and and i say vibrant because it's not a wood natural wood color instead of it, it's just like a fantasy color to call it somehow i wanted to go with those colors but in the exterior it looked really weird so i decided to stick to the natural wood tones and using this darker one and the green um creates a really nice contrast that i actually really liked so that's why i decided to stick to these more natural tones in the interior but hopefully i'm gonna find the opportunity to use these other colors because they're really beautiful actually all the swatches from this kit they're really really nice i really really like them and i wasn't expecting to have some fantasy colors in, in in this kit i thought it was gonna be a little bit more monochromatic a little bit more overly wood tones and stuff like that so that's that's nice to have but we're decorating here and we're adding a lot of items that maybe if you own a cafe you would sell it's like going to any cafe and that like um i don't know a starbucks or something like that and you can just buy the merchandise that they have so that's what i was thinking that what's gonna be in here so you can uh, pretend that you have two items for you to sell uh the wallpaper oh my god this wallpaper is, is becoming one of my favorite wallpapers actually i think it's beautiful uh as i mentioned it's not my favorite kit but still all the items are really really cool so i was so so um excited to see how the wallpaper would look all the swatches are great i'm really proud of what the sims team did actually <laughs> um the chairs i don't know they look really similar to the paranormal stuff chairs so i don't know what to think about them but they're really pretty as well uh they remind me of my grandma's chairs uh, she used to have like this um like i, I don't know what's the material but it's really similar like the design and the style of the chairs but their uh, hairs were uh red so it was red with the cushion it was white and it, it it was so different i've never seen something like that in a house but i remember that she had those uh, chairs and like the whole dining room set was actually everything red and really curvy and really really pretty I don't know what happened with that but i remember that so the chairs even though i think they're really similar to the paranormal ones uh i ended up really liking them i wish the uh like the back area and the legs and everything were red so i could actually like pretend that uh those are my grandma's chairs or something like that but yeah i went with the green ones because of course that's the accent color that we're using and i had to use the dividers because i wanted to use as many items from the kit as possible so you see me now <laughs> if you're wondering what that uh table is from uh that, that table is actually from the party essentials kit i think it looks really nice with the other chairs because they both have like the tapes like the clothes i don't know what's the name of that thing but they're covered and they look really nice even though the tables don't uh, align perfectly with the boots like they don't slot to it pretty well 
like you see me moving i moved the the booth but the table and the chairs didn't move with it and that's weird because that doesn't happen with the uh, the ones that we got in dine out so i don't know but it's functional i'm pretty sure i haven't play tested this build you know that uh usually i haven't had the time to play test anything but because this is for my save file especially i do have to play test everything at some point so don't worry but if you find any glitches or something that doesn't even work when you download this build that it's up on the gallery already so you can find it under my id which is carry sims um if you find something weird you can just go and let me know in the comments or maybe in the comments on the gallery i don't know that that's up to you uh but yeah i added some chairs in here you can have a lot of people actually in this cafe i think yeah because i'm gonna be adding some chairs outside as well so i wanted to have a lot of space in here for your sims to uh, walk around and it not making it feel too cramped in the interior so we're gonna be adding some tables in here as well and uh i don't know i i <laughs> the vibe is so cool i just i was happy happy with this and i was pleasantly surprised with what you can do with this kit I do have to say that and maybe I will be building something base game in this kit only I don't know I will see because I haven't built any lounges or bars or anything like that in a long long time so I don't know how this is gonna work with that but I know that originally that was the idea so we will see we will see but right now, uh, I'm going to be focusing mostly on restaurants and cafes and things like that because they're really cool. I really like them. <laughs> you know that building restaurants is something that I do really like. And I know they have been building a lot of community lots lately. I do have some others uh, on the wait. So I'm going to be trying to upload more houses and apartments and something more residential <laughs> instead of just community lots. But let me know if you guys are excited about more community lots on the channel because maybe you are more into community lots maybe not that many people build community lots that often and you are more more excited about that and more interested about that if that's the case i would definitely upload them sooner than i wanted originally to upload them but you will see them i have been working really hard on many builds for the save file so stay tuned for that and yeah we're adding some lights in here because of course the the nightlife in a cafe and things like that it, it's kind of important so i wanted it to feel like really nice at night as well and um like bright uh, so i used these hanging lights that we got with the oh my god the little campers kit oh my god why do i always forget the name of that kit <laughs> it's so weird but yeah we used the lights from the little campers kit they look really nice in here and then we're gonna be adding some base game lights on the other side with these other tables like the rounded ones and um yeah uh we're working um on some details on the outside but please let me know what you guys think of this build if you're excited about these kits if you have them if you are waiting for maybe a giveaway or something like that people are doing a lot of giveaways so let me know what your opinions are i would really really like to see what you guys think of these two new kits for now you're seeing mostly the um cozy bistro kit because i don't think i used any items from the other kit but yeah, let me know in the comments down below. We're heading to the end of the video now, so I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please remember to like this video. Also comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also follow me on social media. Links are all in the description down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Enjoy the screenshots. Goodbye.